That rigging sticking out of the water in the middle of your screen is the mass of a sunken oyster boat. Assistant Fire Chief Daniel Webster says strong waves and heavy rain soaked the commercial fishing vessel Monday afternoon. The owner of the boat said they were on top of the cab and the boat had sunk and wanted somebody to come get him. So I rounded up four or five guys to help me because I didn't know what to expect. When Webster came upon the 29-foot vessel, it was empty about 300 feet southwest of Haynes Point in Dill Island. Webster feared something bad had happened to the people who were supposed to be on board. So we started looking toward the shore and we could see them on the shore waving to us. That was indeed good news, but the men still needed assistance. We found out that two of them, uh, or both of them, were suffering from mild hypothermia and uh, they were going to be transported to PRMC. Now the owner is spending most of his day out on the water, recovering what's left of the boat he calls Miss Charlotte. Webster says salvage crews have to work quickly because every day the boat stays out there on water is every day money is lost. That's devastating too, but we expected working with the water and working with nature, you're going to lose some days and some times and, and but this was unnecessary. Uh, Webster is happy to see the men made it to shore, but sad to see a day's work washed away.